In the impoverished settlements that ring the city of Johannesburg, people wake at 2 a.m. to make an important decision. They need to pick a queue, then wait and wait to see if anyone delivers any food. Since 2 o'clock, we are here early in the morning. 2 in the morning? Yes. And the old people are here. They are starving. They are just collapsed here because no food. South Africa has passed the midpoint in a five-week lockdown. And in communities like Deep Sloot, it's really starting to hurt. The vast majority here have lost their jobs. So if there's no food, we have to go look for food. It's hunger, it's not about corona now, because you need to survive. Outside the community center, residents spent 14 hours in line waiting for food parcels that didn't turn up. And we could see the anger build. But Ramaphosa, he says he's going to give all the nation their food parcel. There's nothing that that is doing. Many hold the country's president, Cyril Ramaphosa, responsible. Ramaphosa must fix this thing, otherwise all South Africans will fight for it. The anger, the discontent, has turned into violence and widespread looting as people, waiting for aid, take matters into their own hands. Dozens of shops and supermarkets have been broken into over the last week. In Deep Sloot, we found a community group with 800 bags of vegetables to distribute, and the operation ran smoothly in their compound. Outside, however, it was more like chaos. The queue stretched for a kilometer, and there was no social distancing in sight. Eventually, the organizers shut the front gate. There's hundreds of people here standing outside, but there's no food left in here and one of the uh, workers has just told me that they cannot open this gate or they will experience a stampede something uh, he says none of us would want to witness so it's quite volatile but the residents weren't giving up and some were clearly desperate no i just need water because i have been long in this line and i just need water to drink so please help me because i'm really dry we caught up with the man in charge of the distribution. You've got the food to, to give out, you? You've got it. We got the food today. We are still hustling out our partners, our sponsors, to say, guys, the need is still there. We need to keep going because the food insecurity is real. The need is enormous. Yes. It tells you that the need is enormous. I don't want to be the person who has to say to them, hey, look, there's, there's nothing left. Unfortunately, I have to do it. The ache of an empty stomach takes priority over everything else, including the coronavirus pandemic. That's something residents will deal with when they have to. John Sparks, Sky News, in Deep Sleuth.